And now, broadcasting live from the Ginger and Baker studio in the heart of the Music District in beautiful downtown Fort Collins, Colorado. It's live at lunch here on KRFC 88.9 FM. I'm your host today, David V, and today's special musical guest is Antonio Lopez Band. Highway 160 Across La Vida Pass Past the acorn Where we stopped for gas The smell of pignon That earthy note of fall Going, going to the city After we'd fill up, we'd catch our 25 We'll start spinning faster for the rest of the divide So when you grow up, you dream of when you were young But in those days, you couldn't wait for these to come Go in, go into the city. Go in, go into the city. Go in, go into the city. Further up north, my scars are on the line. The zeros and ones replace the heart behind. Is this a plot twist, or is it part of the plan? To grow further from nature, it's the nature of the man. Go in, go into the city. Go in, go into the city. Go in, go into the city. Grow further from nature is the nature of the man. To grow further from nature is the nature of the man. To grow further from nature is the nature of the man. To grow further from nature. The nature of the man Go in, go into the city 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 Jeffrey Jones was a triple threat Had his pick of the girls in the twelfth grade Kathleen Susan Clark was his drug of choice He lived to take her out on a Friday night Begging groceries Saving up his cash To buy a car for the drive-in movies But there's no such thing as a 42 Ford No such thing as a 42 No such thing as a 42 
Ford Old Henry wasn't building cars that year Every science class Jacob passed her notes Scribbled lines about his plan Underneath the stars He could hold her hand As they watched the silver screen Begging Groceries Saving up his cash To buy a car For the driving movies But there's No such thing As a 42 Ford No such thing As a 42 No such thing Wasn't building cars that year Walking after school Jacob checks the mail no love letters, just a notice Time to go to war Serve your Uncle Sam It's time to go and be a man With his last goodbye Came a wet rain I'll be back for the driving movies But there's no such thing as a 42 Ford No such thing as a 42 No such thing as a 42 Ford Old Henry wasn't building cars that year Old Henry Wasn't building cars that year Antonio Lopez Band here on KRFC 88.9 FM, streaming live at krfcfm.org. I'm going to introduce the band and Antonio Lopez on guitar, vocals, and piano, but not today. <laughs> and uh, also uh, Chad Mathis on bass and vocals. And then Jonathan Sadler on marimba, vibraphone, percussion, vocals, and general merriment. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Scott right back there on the drums and vocals. How are you guys doing today? Doing, doing great, well. Great. Thanks for having us. All right. Um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll start it off today with Antonio, and you're a uh, Colorado native. Not sure. a lot of us around here, you know. Uh, everybody seems to be from someplace else, but uh, you grew up and you were born in, down in the uh, Alamosa area. Correct. And uh, you are of indigenous descent. Proud, I'm sure. And uh, you've got a, a lot to. In, you've had some things happen in your family. Uh, your uncle uh, was a was into a civil rights movement early, and and uh, I think I guess a lot of inspiration to write your music. What got you into music originally? Oh, uh, you know I can't remember who was on TV, but I remember watching television and being like five years old, and someone was playing guitar, and something was magnetic about it. And was pretty much interested in music since then. I didn't pick up a guitar till middle school. But, Did you uh, start out with piano? Piano and like singing in school choir, clarinet, that kind of thing. Oh, do you still play clarinet? Uh, no, I, honestly, I'm, I'm not even sure where the clarinet is these days. Probably in a closet somewhere <laughs> in the house I grew up in. <laughs> Have to get it worked on and shined up. All right. Well, uh, that was going to the city to open and 42 Ford... I never thought about that. I guess in 1942, we're at war. I guess they weren't making Fords. They were making airplanes and tanks and everything else but 42 Fords, huh? Yeah. What gave you the inspiration for that tune? 
Um, you know, funny enough, it, I actually broke a string at a gig, and the only string I had was like a way lower gauge, so it was like down an octave, and that was like the genesis of the song. And then, I, yeah, so <laughs> sometimes even real lyrical driven songs, they could really be uh, fueled by something not even lyrical, you know? Were you a, a grocery store bagger? Is that what gave you some of the inspiration for those, or was that somebody in the family? Oh yeah, I know. my first job was I was a caregiver, huh? so yeah, <laughs> never worked in the grocery store. Yeah, good, yeah, it's, I, I, that could be difficult in long hours. Well, um, you guys have got some shows coming up. I know you're going to be playing at Foco MX here uh, in Fort Collins. Do you, what what date will you be playing? Do you yeah, know? so we're playing on Saturday, April 29th. Uh, the full band show is at 6.45 at Equinox Brewing. Then I'm also doing a Songwriters in the Round at the Magic Rat, and I believe that's at 4 p.m. on Saturday the 29th. Great. Here in Fort Collins, Colorado. Well, guys, uh, we're going to let you get back into another tune here, and uh, are you going to be doing something different? Correct. Okay, something different by the Antonio Lopez Band.
Antonio Lopez Band here on KRFC's Live at Lunch. I'm going to speak uh, with Jonathan for a little bit. And uh, you've got just a, a small amount of equipment to take with you every time you go <laughs> someplace to perform. Just a little. Uh, <laughs> xylophone and marimba. Uh, vibraphone and Vibraphone marimba, and marimba. They're both xylophones, actually. Yeah, I, I was just going to ask you that. What is the... What is the technical d differentiation between the two well that's a question i get a lot i mean they're they're all you know idiophones or xylophones they're barred instruments so they're a percussion instrument and you know the bar is resonating so really the the, the they're, they're all xylophones so the difference between a vibraphone and a marimba or a xylophone specifically is that um the vibraphone has these f fans or whatever you call them inside of these resonators here that spin around which give it a vibrato however because i'm using a pickup I don't use the manual vibrato. I use a vibrato pedal or a tremolo pedal. And it, hence the name vibrato. Electrics uh, fans in there, or are they just? Uh, they are. Yeah. There's a motor over here on this side, which mm -hmm. you can't see. Um, mm -hmm. It has a little adjuster, so you can change the tremolo effect um, or the vibrato effect. That's where it got its name, vibraphone. Wonderful. So what got you into that? I mean, that's not something that most people just say, you know what, I was uh, in high school and um, I was in a hard rock band and they decided they needed a vibraphone. Well, see, my, my father was a musician. He played guitar for Michael Martin Murphy for many years. And oh. my mother was a musician. They uh, played together in Los Dos for many years. And uh, when they lived in Canyon City, uh, there was a preacher, or sorry, a pastor, I don't know the right term, at an Episcopalian <laughs> church who in Canyon City who... Um, had this marimba, a 1942 Lady marimba, and not this vibraphone, sorry, a 1920s uh, Jenko vibraphone that actually had 10 bars. Um, and he had those in the basement of the church, couldn't find a place for them. And they asked my mom and dad, they're like, you guys are musicians, do you want these? And so they lived in our basement for a while until one day in junior high school in Fort Collins, my dad busted this out when I was practicing a glockenspiel part for the orchestra. So you didn't even have to fork over a ton of cash for them. They were right there, yeah. huh? Yeah. I got lucky. I can't even imagine what those would cost these days. Um, you can probably get a three-octave marimba for somewhere in the neighborhood of 6 to 10 K. Awesome. Yep. Again, not pocket change. So... Uh, did you just pick it up by ear? Did you take lessons? I'm self-taught um, on the... I mean, I had like a little bit of background from orchestra in junior high, but we never really had any marimba parts. But I did um, I'm primarily self-taught until I met Mike Dillon. He's like a very eclectic uh, vibraphone player, plays with Les Claypool um, in a lot of different oh, projects yeah. around. Promise. He's one of the busiest musicians I know. Anyways, um, I got a few lessons on uh, mallets with him. Primarily, I learned tabla with him. But... Um, yeah, so he. I've had a few lessons with Mike. I've taken some music theory and, you know, what I got from, you know, your fifth through eighth grade kind of music experience. Uh, you're playing in other bands in addition to uh, Antonio Lopez's band I here? do. I play with a band called More Than Physics. We've been in a Fort Collins local band since 2010. And you have albums out? We have uh, three albums out. Our fourth studio recording is coming out in June. Um, and we're going to have a CD release party at the Lincoln Center. Um, contract is still working there so i can't release the date yet but in june and we also i'm also in another local band tyler t and the common clay and uh, if people want information on either of those what are the best websites for spotify facebook and instagram all three great yeah all right well you know uh i know that you've got a couple more the the truth we tell and new warrior are any of these going to be on the upcoming new album you know both of these songs are on the last record That's roots right. and wings Truth We Tell. And speaking of that, where's the best place for people to get information on your music and upcoming shows, things like that? Yeah, you know, my website, AntonioLopezMusic.com, or Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, all those places as well. And where do you prefer people to pick up the music? What's the, what's the, the most advantage to you? If uh, Well, if there's any vinyl lovers out there, uh, we press copies of Roots and Wings on vinyl, you know, CDs. Just but also, go to the website? Uh, yeah, website. Mm -hmm. Yep. And otherwise, digital, all the digital places. Yep. All right. My inability to find the words Doesn't change the way I feel I love my crazy family And I always will I know I seldom call on the phone And at times you feel 
fail all the long You're on my mind more than you know Walking beside me wherever I go Yet on our paths we march alone It's time to listen to each other and the truth that we tell Days turn to weeks, weeks into years The lump in my throat is words nobody hears Still hope springs inside my chest Trickling through the cracks of the mess Share with blood south what was to I wanna share my world with you I wanna share hope, even despair Cause without love, what is there? Yet on our paths we march along To drown in the well It's time to listen to each other And the truth that we tell If I drove all through the night Showed up at your door Would you let me in the talk Or would you say That you've heard it all before Yet on our paths we march alone The hurt of the past is frost on our bones To listen to each other and the truth that we tell It's time to listen No sword, for her heart is made of stillness. Draws no borders, claims no flames, just expands along the fullness. The weapons that she will. All compassion and insight It's not a battle between The good guys and the bad guys We all contain the shadows and the light Uses her quiver of words 
carefully A sentry on a cushion The weapons that she wields All compassion and inside It's not a battle between Good guys and the bad guys We all contain the shadows and the light Take off your armor Let your light shine Break down the barriers The pony in your mind Take off your armor Let your light shine Break down the barriers The pony in your mind The pony in your mind Pony in your mind The pony in your mind Only in your mind of compassion can burn us up gotta temper it with cool wisdom from that space we can understand the radical interdependence of our systems the weapons that we will All compassion and inside It's not a battle between The good guys and the bad guys We all contain the shadows and the light We all contain the shadows and the light Antonio Lopez band here on KRFC's Live at Lunch. I'm going to speak a little bit uh, with Chad now. How you doing, Chad? Great. How are you? Great. Uh, what got you into bass originally? What got me into bass? The first thing I ever played bass for, um, uh, I think I was a junior in high school. Uh, and we did a musical production of The Little Shop of Horrors. And at that point, I had taken piano lessons. I played in the band, sung in the choir, got my hands on a guitar or two. And um, my parents um, uh, uh, said, another instrument, really? And, <laughs> and uh, um, Was it electric or it was, was it stand-up? Yeah, yep. Um, there was a local guitar guy in town who had a, um, he was in like a, a Christian hair metal band in the 80s right. uh, called Liaison. And he was from my little hometown in North Dakota. And he had this bass from the 80s in his farmhouse. Picked that up. I played that thing for about a decade. Gave it, gave it a second life. <laughs> So were you the only electric bassist in North Dakota in that area in your it town? It sure felt like it. It sure <laughs> felt like it. I think there might have been one more um, <laughs> that played at one of the churches. But uh, but yeah, we uh, we kind of made as many mu- musical opportunities as we could in a, kind of a little uh, l- rural, rural town that's surrounded by cattle ranches and oil wells. So, so yeah. We How'd had you to find kind of your, make... w- your way to Colorado? Uh, so, uh, I was working for, I am still working for a music tech company. Uh, originally they were in Minnesota. 
where I was living, and they relocated. They merged with a company in Boulder, and I came along for the ride. So I've been out here about eight years and got plugged into the songwriter scene on the Front Range pretty quickly. And um, for better or worse, everybody needs a bass player. So. <laughs> And, uh, That's and true. yeah, I like to work with songwriters in terms of just, um, helping put arrangements together, um, vocals, things like that. So that's the part of the process that, uh, um, uh, I've been really able to like dig into with folks like Antonio. So you're playing in other bands in addition, I assume too? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Chris and I play together in a number of bands. Um, a guy named Billy Shaddix out of Lyons, uh, Teresa Storch out of Longmont. Uh, I've also been playing recently with Fox Feather yeah. uh, and uh, Tim Ostick. Uh, Chris and I just finished working on Tim's latest record that's coming out this spring, so we're excited about that. So a lot of irons in the fire right now. I was going to say, you're keeping yourself really busy yeah. there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, upcoming gigs with any of those that you want to mention? Yeah. Um, on April first, uh, Fox Feathers playing down in Denver at uh, Number Thirty Eight as part of the uh, the Mile High Stash podcast, and then uh, playing again with Fox Feather. I believe it's the sixteenth or seventeenth, sometime around mid-April, at the Caribou Room up in Netherland. Mm. Um, yeah, their their last album, double album, if I'm not mistaken, and it, was, uh, it had a lot of music a, on it. Yeah, yeah, it had a lot of music on it. It's called The Nature of Things. And they released that last year, and I just kind of hopped on board with them in the last few months. There you go. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you know, we could speak a little bit with Christopher Scott Wright, too, back there. Don't want to forget Hello. him. How you doing? I'm great, thanks. Good. Thanks. And always a drummer? Did you start out on a piano or high school choir, or what got you into music? Uh, my father was a drummer, but we always had a piano, and all the musicians always used to practice over at our house. Colorado? So, no, I'm from upstate New York, so mm -hmm. I've been out here, but I've been out here since 2003, so... What brought you to Colorado? Uh, I actually was <clears throat> came out to play with a guy from Venezuela, actually, mm. and uh, back in the 2000s, was, was with a group called Meniscus, and we were, you know, we had we were a three-piece, uh, you know, he played kind of nylon string... Um, guitar. Guitar and violin and drums and... We uh, we did our thing. Meniscus. It sounds like a medical group. Well, it wasn't for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Um, no, we we uh, you know it was kind of like little Latiny, little rock and roll, and all sorts of different things. You know, uh, we get a lot of musicians out of New York. What kind of influences did you have uh, musically when you're in that area? Uh, I I played in quite a few bands, but um, mostly during that time it was a lot of uh, uh, rock and kind of jam oriented stuff. Um, uh, yeah, not so, really the Ashbury sound like Springsteen or anything like that, but more rock and roll. Uh, no, yeah. not no Ashbury sound. <laughs> <laughs> I can end, upstate New York. Yeah, upstate. Yeah, like. Finger Rochester. Lakes or whatever. Yeah, Rochester, Rod Rochester, area, Rochester yeah. Finger Lakes area. Okay, yeah. yeah. Cool. Excellent. Well, you know, I'd like to obviously hear some more music. And then uh, New Warrior was beautiful there. Secular Pene Penitente? Correct. What's the significance of that song? All right, so I'll try to tell a succinct version of this. Yeah, go ahead. But uh, my grandpa was a coal miner down in Trinidad. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he started working in the coal mines when he was really young. He was, like, 13 years old, 14 wow. years old. And my mom is, like, the youngest of 12 children. And part of his life, besides being a coal miner, he was also a penitente. And the penitentes, they were, like, a fraternal order that was basically about community service. But there also was, like, a part where they would practice penitence in self-harm. So... Yeah, just uh, this song is fast forward a few generations, and I'm not really religious myself. I am spiritual, but uh, I wrote Obviously a song called Secular you. Penitente. Yeah. There is no back. There's no out west For the land that I stand on Is where my ancestors rest My crumple a minor The shadows of the low From teenage to black long A digger of coal My grandma a mother 
living under her care But while she's loaned us He only had to pray He'd leave in the mornings Made a lunchbox at stacks Would turn in the evenings Completely covered in ash Navigate the modern world With an ancient map of pain A secular penny tent They're coming home Singing in the rain When they had my mother They were already gray They moved to Denver When the jobs moved away Still they gave us their stories And they gave us wings They taught us to fear With the breath that we sang So my future ancestors Request to you, you're not canaries in a cage. The spray would let us through. Navigate the modern world with an ancient map of pain. A secular penny tent, they're coming home, singing in the rain. So I flip the scope from me to my larger world The future of humankind is being on for Did cross no borders, the borders crossed us Guadalupe Hidalgo, broken treaty on just So please don't tell us Go back home For these peaks and these rivers That we've all genome So man with a red hat Get his straight They want to divide and conquer us They don't want us to relay So look in my eyes The bloodshot veins Let's share a breath in our mother's names Navigate the modern world with an ancient map of pain A secular penny tent that come home singing in the rain Navigate the modern world with an ancient map of pain Take a little penny tent that come home singing in the rain. Antonio Lopez Band here on KRFC's Live at Lunch. I'd like to remind all our listeners and uh, viewers today that you can always go to our KRFC. Uh, Radio Vision YouTube channel. Subscribe. It benefits, of course, all the musicians. And when you subscribe, you can get a notification each week that, of course, what artists are going to be playing on Live at Lunch. And you can view all the past and future Live at Lunch editions. Um, you're going to be playing some tunes now. Uh, Western Winds, Home is a G Chord, The Future is Now. They're all from a brand new album you're working on. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Correct, yeah. So we're going to be releasing a series of doubles. I want to do two songs at a time just because the music industry has shifted and it's all about singles. Mm -hmm. But I just want to be different. So we're dropping doubles. The first set of doubles comes out April 14th. Um, and it's going to be. Can people premiere that or view that at or listen? Yeah, you know, it's going to it's going through digital distribution, so they'll be on Spotify, Apple Music, all those digital do listening spaces. Do you guys do Bandcamp things like that? Bandcamp, yes. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll drop a full album in September. So, any plans for a album release party? Yeah, you know, Collins, that, that's area? all coming together. Um, there's Americana Fest in Nashville mm -hmm. and Swerfa down in Austin. You'll so, I'm putting together a big uh, kind of like tour and just everything surrounding the album when it comes out in September. <laughs> Should be good. So for our listeners in those vicinities, you'll be able to catch Antonio Lopez band. So Western Winds. <laughs> Close my eyes and listen for the call of western ways It's been a while since I tuned in So I try to remember how it sounds To harmonize with the sky and the ground Voices in my heart singing now. Oh, 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 Western ways. I open up my lungs and hold the signs of passing. Silent go, so I try to remember how it feels. Songs whisper through the clouds and the hills. A horse upon the wind, riding free. Oh. 
Antonio Lopez Band here on Live at Lunch, KRFC 88.9 FM. Well, I'd like to thank our audio people today, Andy Howes and Matt Mosier, doing a great job as always, and our video people, Eric Delano and Jeremy Smith. Thanks, guys. You always do a fantastic job. We appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. And uh, we've got... uh, couple more songs from Antonio Lopez coming up. Is there anything you'd like to touch base on, guys? Uh, upcoming shows, things you'd like to mention that maybe we haven't touched base on? Yeah, so uh, the first of these set of doubles comes out April 14th. Um, it's going to be The Future Is Now and Secular Penny Tenthe. And uh, yeah, just, we're gonna also going to be at Folk Home X April 29th. Uh, you know where to find the details. <laughs>
When I first met you Every breath was for you Now that I know you I know that it's true Here we are Are we here? The intimate connection between our hopes, our dreams, our fears What if I told you the future is now? If we're only dreaming, then we'll never learn how What if I told you the future is now? If I told you the future is now If we're only dreaming Then we'll never learn how Thanks for joining us today on Live at Lunch here with the Antonio Lopez Band and they're going to lead us out today with Better Days. Oh, there are better days in front of us than the ones we left behind Up along Rock Creek Below Bennett Peak Pile in that rusty red fort Sit on a brother's lap That dusty dirt road That wasn't on the map In your chest pocket Memories like a locket Don't forget who you are Never forget who you wanted to be Past days are long gone What remains is better day days in front of us and the ones we left behind down south river road above two wheels at full pedaling that rusty red bike the one that i still ride first belonged to my brother till he got another Chest pocket memories like a locket. Don't forget who you were, never forget who you wanted to be. Past days alone gone. What remains is better days and this. days in front of us and the ones we left behind to Conoco for lunch we'd go they had nacho cheese and soda a gift from my sis to me my favorite restaurant what more could a kid want Chest pocket memories like a locket. Don't forget who you were, never forget who you wanted to be. Past days long gone. What remains is better days and this.
There are better days in front of us than the ones we left behind. Thank you for listening to Live at Lunch, and thank you to the Music District here in the heart of Fort Collins, Colorado. Live at Lunch is produced by KRFC 88.9 FM in the Ginger and Baker studio. If you'd like to appear on Live at Lunch, email our music director, David Vosick, at david at krfcfm.org.